Hey guys, today I am going to be reviewing the Cover FX Power Play Concealer. This concealer claims to be a long wearing, crease proof with a weightless full coverage finish that instantly conceals dark circles and any imperfections while blurring fine lines and providing next level pollution defense. Whew. Wow, okay. Now, I just had a look on the website because I was intrigued by pollution defense and what that means. And it says that it contains a fermented algae that helps defend against urban pollutions. There you go. So if that's something you look for in a concealer, then amazing. The bottle comes with 10 mils of product, which is actually quite a lot. It's the same amount as Tarte Shape Tape. Most concealers only come with around four to seven mils, I'd say. So 10 mils is quite a large bottle. In Australia, this retails for $44 and in the US, 30. There are 30 shades in the range and all Cover FX products are vegan and cruelty free. Now I picked up the shade N Fair One, which is described for fairest porcelain skin with a neutral undertone. And I can absolutely agree that the shade is spot on and it works really well for me. The Cover FX site actually has a lot of useful guides to help you choose your shade, including swatch photos. Now there aren't actually a lot of very fair shades to choose from. The next shade up, N Fair 2, is described for porcelain to light skin with neutral undertones. From there up, the shades look quite dark and wouldn't suit someone with my complexion. So if you're super fair and have a strong cool undertone, I'm not too sure if there will be a shade available for you. Now the coverage is described to be full and I do agree with that, but I find it needs to be built up. One layer does look nice and it has good coverage, but it isn't quite enough if I'm going for that ultra full coverage look. Two layers does the job here and I learned quickly that a little goes a long way. It builds up really well and has a nice radiant finish. It's not super matte like the shape tape. So if you found that to be a bit too drying under your eyes, I think this would be a good alternative. It claims to be crease proof and not settle into fine lines. I find that every concealer settles into my fine lines to some degree, but throughout the day, I found that it didn't get any worse. Overall, I really enjoyed using this concealer and if you're after something that has great coverage but still feels really lightweight under the eyes, then I think this is for you. If you're still interested, then keep on watching. I'll show you an application demo, talk a little bit more about the product and then get into some swatch comparisons. Okay, so here is the concealer bottle. As I mentioned, it comes with 10 mils of product, which is quite a lot. The doe foot applicator is a little bit different. It's got this weird round ball thing. It works well though, so whatever. All right, so I'm just going to take a little bit and put that under my eyes. All right, so this is what the first layer looks like. Now in with the second. And then this is what it looks like with the second layer. I'm going to go ahead and set it with powder. I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me. I like to blend the concealer out with a sponge, but then I like to set it with a brush. So this here is my Morphe E40. I'm just going to lightly dip that into the powder. So this one here is the Cover FX Power Play in N Fair One. Here we have the Tarte Shape Tape in Fair Neutral. 
This one here is the Colourpop No Filter Concealer in Fair 04. Here we have the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in C1. And this here is the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 05 Ivory. All right, guys, well, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what other concealers you would like me to test out and review for you. If you aren't already, make sure you are subscribed to my channel and you can also come follow me on Instagram. I hope you're all having a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.